Good night. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Only thing happened on my way to the war. I walked into the airport and I said, this must be the place. Then the guy came over. Hey, when you knock it off, you're busting up the master's I know the airport jokes. But I got a bathroom. I got a bathroom. Here we go. Oi, vey. Show over. Let the bottom come in. Hey, I'm here. Train, hut. And there's your cart. Joker. It worked. All right, you piano grabbers. Where is it? Where, 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 where? Where, where? Piano? What piano, sir? What <laughs> that piano. Oh, I got it. How, well, well then, now, now, Captain, uh, that maybe the boys shouldn't have uh, borrowed your piano, sir, but that they are entitled to try out for the Navy show. Uh, that, that was orders from complete, sir. Mikhail, if you think I would let these sticky-fingered buccaneers carouse around New Caledonia on the pretense of being in a show, forget it. All right, get that piano back where it belongs. Hey, fellas, I got it. I got it. Hey, look, you guys, I got my juggling down. Parker. Boy, I think if I really get good, I'm going to use two suckling pigs. Parker. Hi, Captain. Oh, Chuck, no. Well, now, don't let his calmness fool you, Skip. He's going to yell at me. No, I'm not. Oh. But <laughs> kill <laughs> Sorry, sir, but it's the new Comfleet training officer, Captain Cummings. <sighs> I don't care if it's Captain Kidd. My head is pounding so it... Did you say Comfleet training officer? Uh, that's right, Binghamton, and I'm here on official business. Oh, Captain, uh, welcome aboard. I'm sorry I wasn't out there to welcome you myself, but uh, I've had a terrible accident. Mm, uh, so I see. Uh, may I suggest a little hair of the dog that bit you? <laughs> well, thank you very much, Captain, but in this case it's impossible because the dog is bald-headed. Besides that, he's also the... Are you suggesting that I've been drinking? Forget it, Binghamton. I've uh, been going over the complete training records, and I find that there are still two officers here on Taratupa that uh, haven't taken the compulsory 48-hour survival test. You know the one, sir, where they drop you off on a deserted island with nothing but a knife? I know the one. Those guys are close to me. I'm fogging my glass. These two men have to qualify immediately. Oh, sir. One of the men is Ensign Parker. Mm -hmm. Ensign Parker? Yes, sir. Well, that can't be true. Look, sir. That's too good to be true. Yes, one of the men is an Ensign Charles Parker. Oh, Ensign Parker. Think of it, Elroy. Ensign Parker, that bumbling putz out there on a deserted island all alone. No food, no shelter, nothing but a knife to destroy himself with. Oh, I wish I could be there to see that. Uh, you will be, Captain. I will be. I'll be there oh, with sir. the knife, and he'll get me. You and Ensign Parker will leave for Maku Island at 0800 tomorrow morning. I'm to spend 48 hours along with that pea brain? I can't do I won't do that. I'm sorry, Binghamton, but those are my orders. I've got to bring your fitness records up to date. But, Captain, I'm fit, for heaven's sakes. I'm fit. I do 40 push-ups every morning. I run to work all the time. I run. Don't I run to work, Elroy? Oh, I run everywhere I am. I run to the safe. When I have to go to the safe, I run back to my desk and run all the time. I've got stomach muscles like steel, Captain. Just like steel, huh? Show him, Elroy. Show him. Oh, show no, him, boy. Oh, show no, him. Oh, it's just like steel, so, sir. No! Right off around me. That was a rabbit punch. Did you see that? Did you see that? Binghamton, all I want to see is you dockside at 0800. I'll be there. <laughs> Ooh, that was a 
Captain, I'm telling you for the last time, I, I just can't go. I can't make it. I've got to stay here and, uh, and uh, dedicate the new soft drink machine. It's a question of morale. Sorry, Binghamton, sorry, but orders are orders. A turn, huh? Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Uh, uh, Captain Cummings, the 73 is ready to shove off, sir. Good. Let's go, Binghamton. Oh, uh, just a minute, sir. Uh, don't you think the captain ought to have an extra jacket or a blanket? I mean, after all, he's an older man. Never mind that old man. I don't want any special privileges. All I want to do is just go and then get this thing over uh, with. Well, now, wait a minute, sir. It's going to be cold out there in Mako, and if you don't have your winter lining now, wait yet... Wait a minute. Don't unzip your no, commanding no, officer. I'm warm. You that no, you're, you're zipping. Don't, I'm... <laughs> Holy... Captain Binghamton. Well, how did those things get in there? Well, I just can't imagine, sir. Binghamton, let me see that jacket. Now, wait a minute. There's nothing in the regulations against wearing it. <laughs> uh, tell me, sir, who's your tailor? Oscar of the Waldorf? <laughs> I just don't know what to... I mean, you put those things in there, didn't you? Of course, sir. Don't you remember? You're the one who gave me the needle and thread to sew everything in. So I just took it out. Shut up, man. Oh, Captain, I'm surprised at you. Cheaters never prospered. <laughs> now I've got one for you. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sir, wrap launch and ready to board. Okay, men, this is it. Over the side. Hey, let me hug you, Captain. Uh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Captain. You can't send me out there. I'm a sick man. I'm not well at all. I've got a terrible cold. Look <laughs> at those germs here. And the cough is... Ah, <laughs> uh, come on now, Captain. Over you go. Come on, get your hands off of me. I'm a sick man. I tell you, the cough is killing me. <laughs> uh, well, sir, it's uh, probably just a nervous tickle. Here, no, let me no. help you out. Uh, <laughs> uh, somebody get a boat hook. Out. Hang on, Banton. Hang on. Well, look at it this way, sir. At least your cough's gone. <laughs> 48 hours alone with a metal case. No food, no shelter, and anything but this lousy knife. Hold on, wait a minute, sir. According to the service manual, a knife can be a sailor's best friend. Yeah, right. Hey, the oar! I'll get it! Oh, look what you did! That's good! I'm going to play bumbly pig on your hide with this knife! No oh, time for games, sir! Have you got any bubble gum? Oh, that's good. I'm gone! I'm going to get you! Hey, ow! You pricked me! Bad! 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 Ow! Oh, don't oh, break the so loud! Will you hurry up with the firewood? I'm coming, sir. You know, after all, this stuff doesn't grow on trees. This stuff does grow on trees. Oh, shut up and get the fire started. You'll get those clothes dry pretty soon. I'm going to freeze it. Don't worry, sir. Oh, there's one fire coming right up. All I need is a stick and a stone. Yes, all right, all right. Here, here. Here's the stick. Now you get the stone. Oh, right, Captain. Hey, wait a minute. That's a match. Well, you can't use a match. That's against the rules. Here, I'll throw it away. I won't tell anybody, sir, either. Wait a minute, you stupid Daniel Boone. It's that match of your life. Well? Well, you wouldn't kill me for a match. <laughs> you would. Mm. I'll, I'll use it. Right here, sir. Oh, yes. What's the matter with you, Law? Well, no, I'm just clearing my sinuses. <laughs> I can't find any fruit or any berries or anything. How about you? Oh, nothing, sir. Couldn't find anything either. What do you got in your mouth? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, 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 sir. But don't worry, sir. At least we're going to be warm. I got a blazing fire going for you. Come on. Kind of a late, <laughs> Amaze me, Parker. I thought a boob like you would let the fire go out. Oh, no, sir. Our clothes will be done any minute. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I'm sorry, sir. I guess I guess you're a little overdone. <laughs> wow, boy, that's what I call dry. Oh, uh, ruined. Well, they're not actually ruined, sir. Uh, charcoal gray is the latest color. <laughs> Parker, I'm gonna get you for this. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, you can't kill me, sir. Oh, well, this is a survival test. You kill me and I'd flunk. <laughs> you better put this around you. <laughs> Keep warm. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Hold it! Hold it! Come back! Oh! Hey, Parker, what are you one thing's for sure. The captain deserves every bit of suffering he's gonna do out there. You can say that again, Lester. What a crumb. Not letting us try out for the talent show. All right, all right, he's off. Hey, wait a minute. Look, Skip, as long as the captain is out of the way, why can't we buzz over to Caledonia and try out for the show? Hey, Groob, that's a great idea. Sure, Binghamton will never know the difference. Yeah. Then if we make the show, he'll be happy to horn in on all the glory. How about it, Skip? Well, that bulletin from Comfrey did say that all hands were entitled to an audition. Keep going, Skip. We're hanging on every word. <laughs> and I guess we could be back in time to pick him up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we go. Caledonia, <laughs> here we come! Stand back, everybody! It's showtime! Caledonia, Skip, I got you. Well, I can never remember which side of lean to who's supposed to lean to. The writer that... Well, anyway, I'll take another palm. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Get your hands off of me, you nitwit. Just get your hands off of me. That's off. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I thought you were baby palm. <laughs> get that thing off your head, too. Get off! Get off! I don't want to treat you like that. I don't want to treat you like that. I don't want here I am marooned with the world's prize boob. I got no food, I got no clothes. Yes, sir. Somebody up there has got to hate me. Well, I don't blame you for being cranky. I'm not cranky. Well, so you're cranky? Uh, I ought to do something to take your mind off food, maybe, huh? But, hey, I got it. I can entertain you. I can juggle. Yeah. I can use those coconuts. Well, why don't you just... Coconuts? But why didn't you mention the coconuts before, you dope? Now we can eat. Well, well maybe I would if you weren't always yelling at me. I know what you are. You are too, you are too. Chef, chef, chef. Let's oh. get lunch. I'm only human. Never oh. mind that. We need something to knock them down there along. Here, here's one right here. Oh. Hey, boy, we got enough for a banquet. Oh. Oh, he did it to me again. That's stupid. Oh, if anybody saw this, he wouldn't believe it. You're my prisoner. Thank you. Did you see what he did? Oh, no, no. Parker! Yeah, I'm coming. Here, would you mind holding these? Nice! What did they get here? Hey, did you see these guys? Yeah, same thing happened to me over here. Oh, please don't hurt us, sir. We're harmless, I swear, harmless. Silence! You American dogs are out of uniform. You will be shot as spies. Boy, he's even more chicken than you are. <laughs> oh, oh, didn't mean it. Uh, I'm just an American dog. He's right. <laughs> I even got a little cocker spaniel with me. Quiet, you fool! <laughs> Oh, oh, honorable warriors, really, you're mistaken, sir. You see, we're, we're not American servicemen. We're castaways. We've been cast up on this desert island. Hey, you've probably heard of me. My name is uh, 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 Robinson Crusoe. You heard me? Uh, so, famous story. But you're not Robinson Crusoe. Oh, oh yes, I'm him. I'm him. I mean, see the profile? You can tell by the... And this is Friday. Friday? Friday. Oh, no, Captain. It's Saturday. Huh? Saturday. Ah, uh, so, you're a captain. You lied to me. Why could you have three tickets? Hey, Skip, did you hear this one? Why did one rifle say to the other rifle? Why don't we go out and get loaded? Oh, you heard it. Well, that with jokes like that, you're gonna need a rifle to protect yourself. I laughed when I heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, Skip. Look, take a card. Any card. Go ahead, take two. They're small. Skip, what do you what do you say? I hit him with this for an encore. Over the waves, over the waves, where the trains will go over the waves. Down, down, down hambone. Hambone? Hambone upon the swan. Yeah. Yeah. 
running a PT boat here, not a floating amateur hour. <laughs> hey, Skip, we're off course for New Caledonia. What gives? Well, if you really want to know what gives, I'll tell you. We're stopping off at Marco Island. I want to peek in on Mr. Parker and the captain. Just want to see if they're still in one piece. <laughs> I see you're surprised. Welcome to a secret listening post. Now I've given you information, you will give me some. Oh, no. Uh-uh. No, sir. All we have to give is our name, rank, and serial number. That's according to the Geneva Rules of War. <laughs> Article 6, paragraph B. Or, <laughs> er, er, uh, was it C? D. D. Uh, so, you just make big joke, yes? Yes, yes. <laughs> he makes big joke. He's always making... A big... uh, what do you want to know? I'll tell you anything. I'll tell you my, my, my address, my phone number, my wife's birthday. <laughs> what do you want to know? Wow, wow, wow. That's better. You, my kind of coward. <laughs> How long we gone? I got my shirt. Will you be quiet? We don't want Binghamton and Chuck to know that we're checking on them. Be quiet. Hey, here it is. Hand up, Yankee, or you die. It's a nip trap. Run for it. Oh, it's no use, Skip. They got us. No wonder we couldn't find Chuck and Binghamton. Thanks! You old prisoners. Step inside. What should they get? It's Mikhail. Skipper, what are you guys doing here? Ah, you know each other. Very good. Now we get down to real business. Yeah, that's what you think, Buster. The only thing you're getting from us is our name, rank, and serial number. Yeah, you don't know what you're saying. We don't talk it. Shoot us, shoot us. Well, it's a good thing you got here, Skip. He was just about ready to blab everything about us coming from Terry. Ah, there'll be no talking. And that's final. All right, Yankees. I don't have time to waste. I read you our submarine. You will talk when we get you back to main base. Excuse me, Gonzo, what are you Well, if we could just send a message through to Com Fleet. Not a chance, Skip. Yeah, instead of a Navy show, we're going to wind up in the Yokohama Follies. Uh... Hey, wait a minute. That's it, group. Prisoners, stop talking! Follow my lead. Okay, Lieutenant. We know when we lick, sir. You win, we'll talk. So, you change mind? <laughs> yeah, well, we, we thought it best to tell the truth, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, we're USO Show Troop number 73. <laughs> we're really entertainers. <laughs> entertainers? Right, boys? That's right, Mr. Yeah, M. we do right. everything. Uh, songs, dancing, happy patter. We're even available for private parties. Sure, we just did a bar mitzvah in New Zealand. <laughs> How'd you like to book us for a bonsai ball? How'd you like to book us for a bonsai ball? How'd you like to... You wouldn't? <laughs> I don't believe you. Well, of course not. That's why we want you to sit right down here, sir, and prove it to you. Am I right, boys? Right. 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 And away we go! And now, honored members of the Japanese Imperial Forces, to begin the show, I would like to introduce to you one of the greatest names in prestidigitation, the one or the only, Gruba the Magnificent. Bring him on with a big hand, boys. Hey, go get him, Gruba. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, fans. You're too kind. <laughs> First, I would like someone from the audience to assist me. Why? Here's your assistant, uh, Gruber the Magnificent. Yes, sir. Here is your willing subject. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for volunteering. Now, I'd like to uh, assure the audience that you and I are total strangers. Uh, will you uh, look at me closely? Uh, have we ever met before? Good. Now, sir, may I borrow your watch? Thank you, lad. Hmm, made in New Haven. <laughs> now, I should prove that the hand is faster than the eye. I place the watch here. Covered with the bandana. So, you're watching closely. Ah, this'll do fine. Alakazoo, Alakazam, Alakawam! Hey! Oh, 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 hey! Oh, you're worried, sir. <laughs> Rest assured, I have no fear. I know you think your watch is fully destroyed. But observe. Presto! <laughs> Bob's in perfect shape. <laughs> Sorry, lad. Hey! What kind of trick is that? Go 
Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but we magicians never reveal our secrets. Hey, yes, yes, that's, that's the... Would you, would you believe it? Why, that's the first time that Grover the Magnificent has missed in two years. <laughs> We've still got a, a wonderful show for all you brave Japanese soldiers here on Baku Island. I would like to present to you the great American warbler, the man with the golden tonsils, our own Virgil Edwards. Hey! Virgil, make like you've got a microphone. <laughs> Let us warn ya, we were sailing to New Caledonia. Now we're prisoners on Maku Island. We just wanted to, to inform ya. <laughs> illustrious members of the listening post here on Marco Island, we have another song for you by two more American prisoners, Willie Moss and Christy Christopher. <laughs> Way down upon old Marco Island, bearing three to five, three to five. <laughs> Hear our jive. Wait, stop the show. Those are strange words for song. I think something fishy in Nagasaki. <laughs> <laughs> something fishy in Nagasaki. Oh, Lieutenant, you're a scream. I read your sub now. Oh, no, no. Please wait, sir. With your beautiful ears for jokes, you got to hear our King Kong of comedy, Mr. Funny Pants himself, our own Tinkerbell. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm back again, I'm back again. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Yokohama and all the rescue ships at sea. Did you hear about the panhandler on Guadalcanal? Went up to the second lieutenant and said, Lieutenant, I haven't eaten in a week. And the lieutenant said, you ought to force yourself. Oh, <laughs> all right, you guys laughing up. These are the jokes. Go, go, go. Stop, We had enough. Oh, but my sir, we're just getting started. Silence. You all lucky you go to Japanese prison camp. You see real show there. Samurai dancers, clowns, acrobats. Clowns and acrobats? Well, why didn't you say so? Sir, right here in our very midst, we have the greatest acrobatic clowns in the Pacific area, the Flying Punchinellos. Flying Punchinellos? Yes, sir. And here they are. Yes, sir. Chuck and Wally Punchinello. <laughs> The name Punchinello, sir. <laughs> Punchinellos, what a finish! Uh, acrobatic team, that two man kamikaze. I'm going to come right away. I'm about to say, you haven't seen the box. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, so. Ready or on? You try to call your side for help. I shoot you for this. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You you can't shoot us. Not after the, 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 the great show we just put on for you. Great show? That another reason to shoot you. It was terrible show. It smelled all the way back to Tokyo. Now it's putrid, awful. You didn't like it. Sensational. We want more. 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 Message from the Admiral Skip. He says to forget the survival test and head for New Caledonia instead. What? No, 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 no. no. Hey, listen to this, Captain. Heard rave notice about show put on by crew of PT-73 and insist you audition. 
I'm especially anxious to see Flying Punchinellos in action. Signed, Admiral Rogers. <laughs> What'd you hear that, Captain, from Admiral Rogers? We better start rehearsing. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm through with show business. Never, never, never. Captain! Gosh, we work so well together. Oh, that's what I love about this war. Just one big happy show. Just 